Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for our pregnancy update. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I do lifestyle, fitness, and mommy vlogs. So again, if this is your first time being in my channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any updates whenever I post them. But today, we're going to talk about me being 17 weeks pregnant. So just like in the past, we're going to talk about how the baby's doing, how I'm doing, and what are the biggest takeaways for this week. So let's jump right in. We are now 17 weeks and counting with this little, little baby boy in my belly. And it's just so amazing how time seems to be flying by super fast. And every time I ask, I tell Ryan what week we're in, he even also find it so hard to believe that we're that far along already. Second trimester and you were only a couple weeks away from being halfway there. And before we know it, our baby boy will be here. So just like in the past, uh, the size of the baby is a uh, size of a pomegranate, which is a little over five inches long and weighs about six, it, six ounces. So this is the photo from my app called the Bump app. Um, as far as other symptoms, I still haven't felt the baby move yet, but it's nothing to be really concerned about. I had an appointment with my doctor today. That was one of the things I wanted to talk about for this update. So I had an appointment today. Um, I told him that was my number one concern. I said, you know, how come I haven't felt the baby? And he said, you know, it's something to be concerned about, which is something that I would really like to hear, making sure that the baby is okay. And really, there's not that, there's no really magic number of what week you're supposed to be in to start feeling the baby. It could be a number of other reasons. Like for me, he said it is because of the placement of my placenta being in the front of my belly. So meaning the baby is behind the placenta, which is why the baby is, um, I can't feel the movement just as much yet. But I'm sure as he grows, then I'll be able to feel it more and more. So I wasn't really worried about too much about that. Um, as far as the heartbeat, I did hear the heartbeat today. I wouldn't, I wasn't able to see him in the ultrasound because we're having a big, the big ultrasound next Saturday for the anatomy scan. But today I was able to hear the heartbeat of the baby, which he told me the number, but I can't remember what he said. But I do, but what I did remember is I asked him if whether or not it's true that if it's a slower heartbeat that it's a boy and if it's a faster heartbeat if it's a, you know means it's a girl because i've watched other mommy vlogs um you know on youtube and i've heard them mention that too so i asked my doctor is that something that's true and basically what he said it's it's not so he said basically it's the same thing um you know boy baby boy or baby girl tend to have the same heartbeat. So, I mean, it's nothing that I'm really, really worried about. As long as there is heartbeat and it's healthy, that's really all that matters to us. So that was just that. Um, so like I said, we had that appointment for today. And then next week, we have our big appointment. At this point, we still don't know if Ryan is going to be able to come with me because they have that restriction at the clinic where I go to. Luckily, now, from now on forward, they told me today that they have lifted the restriction for visitors, meaning Ryan can now come to all of my prenatal visits, which is awesome. So we just really need to make sure that we have childcare to watch Sophie for those upcoming visits. So I'm really excited about that. Um, other thing that's been going on, let's see, stretch marks. I... I do have stretch marks, you know, from being pregnant from previously, but I definitely put a lot of lotion in there, so they're not as bad. So I guess I can consider myself as one of those lucky ones that didn't get it as much. I mean, knock on wood, that it doesn't get any worse than that. I mean, but even if it, even if it does, or it, you know, you get more stretch marks from this pregnancy, it I don't really, 
I don't really care, you know, like for me, it's a badge of honor. It's like, it's a, it's a sign of how my body has been so amazing and been, you know, helping me go through all these changes and growing this little baby. Um, the other thing is uh, symptoms. Okay, so increased bodily fluids. So according to my app, that's one of the symptoms that I could be feeling at this point, which I can definitely attest is happening and by way of runny nose. So like every now and then, I mean, I think I've been like something that I've been dealing for like the whole week that I have really runny nose. <laughs> like I always need, need to have like a Kleenex next to me because otherwise I will be just sniffling all day long. So, you know, I can definitely attribute that like, to, to pregnancy. So that's one of the things that I notice. Weight gain. We talked about weight gain. So my doctor said that I'm definitely where he wants me to be as far as weight gain. Um, we've been doing a lot of HelloFresh, um, those meal delivery kits that you get. We've been doing that for the last four weeks, which is a really good uh, break. Because I keep telling Ryan, you know, it's a really good break for me too, personally, because I don't have to like worry about thinking about what to make for dinner for whatever day it was because it's all there all the ingredients are there and all the instructions are there so all I have to do is to follow it and plus it makes it a fun family activity we let Sophie help us you know as much as she can without making too much mess but that's one one of the things that we like to do right now um, as far as getting healthy nutrition for our family we also talked about sleep positions because I'm someone who likes to sleep on my back. I mean, I, I toss back and forth, but I've read a lot of things and, you know, saying about when you're pregnant, you should only be sleeping on your side. That's hard for me because I really feel more comfortable when I'm sleeping on my back. So I make sure to ask him about that. Then he said at this point, it's not really a concern for me right now because it's not, it's usually by the time I reach my third trimester that I have to make sure um, that I'm sleeping on my side. And and I guess, you know, that's really gonna be the only comfortable way for me by then anyway because of the, of the size of the belly at that time. So that's just, that's about that for as far as my symptoms goes. Um, as far as the family life nesting, we are definitely starting to nest. In fact, last weekend, we spent like all day um, at the dealership, car dealership, because me and my husband decided that it's time for us to upgrade. I mean, we, we have an SUV. It was a good sized SUV, but we, we just figured that, you know, with two car seats, we need to have a little bit bigger car than what we currently have. So he ended up getting one for himself. And then at the same time, I got myself a, a bigger car as well. So we're really excited about that. I mean, so that's just one part of the nesting. And then now I'm thinking about strollers. I mean, I made a mistake. Well, not really a mistake, but like I, my current stroller that I'm using for Sophie is a single stroller. But now that I'm about to have two babies, I'm thinking I might need to have a double stroller. <laughs> so I feel like at this point, that's really what my activities are all about. It's like thinking about, you know, making things work. Like we need bigger things. We need more space. I mean, luckily we have enough rooms in our house, so you don't really have to worry about that. So I am just... So that's where we're at. Um, oh, other things that I wanted to talk about, I'm sorry if I'm jumping back and forth, is that I do feel a lot of a lot more energetic. So like I said, we did that over the weekend and then this week, which is a normal week working from home, taking care of Sophie. But at the same time, I was able to do my workout routine again and I was able to take care of myself. In fact, I just came back from the salon getting my hair cut in my nails. <laughs> so a little, I had a little bit of pampering for myself. It's also my birthday weekend. So it was my early present for myself. I, you know, it's just, 
I just feel like a lot more energetic confer- com- compared to how I was feeling back during the first trimester. So I'm really just trying to soak all the energy, soak up all the energy and just take advantage of this while I while it lasts. Because I know by the time we get to our third trimester, things are going to change a little bit again. So yeah, so like I said, I'm just trying to take advantage of whatever I can do for the moment and just enjoying this journey this little baby so anyway i guess i can leave it at that um like i said you know in the past thank you for listening and following on to my to our journey um let me know if you have any questions or recommendations for me down in the comment section and i will make sure to get back to them as soon as i can and if you want to see more of this videos of how my pregnancy weeks has been going on, I will make sure to leave a link in the description box so you can follow them along. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now!